What was the first song you you, you wrote and you sang? Um, it's called um, "You Make Me Cry." That's my mom. Yeah, I would sing that to her. <laughs> okay. Can you teach me one? Because I'm a notoriously bad singer. Whenever I sing, people oh, beat me up. You just go. You make me cry. You make me cry. That's it. Cry, cry. <coughs> Then you go hi, hi. That's it. Ooh, that was the chorus. <laughs> That was my first song I ever wrote. Oh, it's beautiful. I would just uh, look at my mom and be like, you make me cry. I... <laughs> just tell her that. She's going to be so, you know, blown away by your vocals. Oh, my God. Maybe she won't, you know. I, I just, I can't sing. I was told I can't sing when I was a little, so I just can't not sing. You just did really good. Oh, my God. From the queen herself. I think you did. Good. I'm very empowered. Hi guys, I'm Jiaoyin Summers.、Uh, I am、uh, over the moon. I am so excited. I it's, it's an honor to have met her through my friend、uh, Suji, and、uh, uh, she came to my show、uh, in in Urban Improv. She thought that was Margaret Cho, but、uh, that's why she was there. But she then I did um was like I did a yeah I did a weed pill no sugar. But, I can't talk. I can't talk. It's like a gummy bear, like a a, a weed gummy bear. I edible. I I took one. I passed out. Yeah, they carry me to the guest room. And this lady is such an inspiration. She is multiple multi multiple Grammy winner. <laughs> no, she won multiple Grammys. And、uh, no, I didn't. I she just is, won one. She's the voice. I- One of the greatest voices of all generation,、yes. a woman who inspires. She is the beautiful, the talented, the one and the only Macy the Gray, sexiest woman alive. Yes, sexy, sexy, sexy woman alive. Sexiest woman alive. And I came in twenty twenty four. The gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous house. There's the trees big. It's big. I wish I can have a tree that big. It's Growing money, money tree. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, and the driveway is long, long and big. That's the Grammy money. It's gonna get you. Yeah, I'm very inspired to work my off so I can get one of the Grammys. One Grammy is at your mom's house, so you definitely is black. Does she just like、uh, be like、uh, the first ones at my house? Wait, I'm. She's my mom's black. Is she? She definitely black, right? She should be. I think so. She's pretty black, yeah. Well, so you have one of your Grammy at the house. What does that have to do with my Grammy, though? It's just like we had to give the best thing to our mom. It's a、oh. Chinese black thing. Like the mom、uh. get the best. Like I give you a life. I can take you out if I want. Your Grammy is my Grammy. Well, we, we, I think did she say we won a Grammy? Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. So when you won, did she say we won a Grammy? Like she did it. What did she say? No, actually, she told me that I had something on my dress. <laughs> That's the kind of mom I got. Was it? Is that or just ketchup? Uh, no, it was um, it was it was red. We thought it was a spot, but it wasn't. So it's was a white dress. No, it was a blue dress, but it had a it had you know had something on it. You were just a good American. Blue and red is no, no. It was just something ketchup, I think. Yeah, they kind of messed up、uh, putting that together because when you wear blue and red, everybody thinks you want to look like the flag, you know.、Mm-hmm. So you can't really wear you can't wear red and green because then you're Christmas. Mm-hmm. Wow, your mom's like、uh, something on her dress. She、yeah. didn't say anything else. That's pretty much. Wow, she's definitely black. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know what that. that means, but it's just the tough love. Oh, they give you straight. They tell you the truth. I guess no sugar coating. No, she doesn't. Do I、that. feel like because they they just have this survival mentality, and then they feel like if they don't sugar coat anything, we just we are ready for the cruelty of the world. Yeah, that's true. Because that's a lot、probably. of like、uh, parents, they tell their children, "You are so special. You are the best." When they are not the best, when they go out to the world, they realize they are not the best. They、yeah. got offended and they got angry. They got weak and they become stupid little who complain all day. Right?、Mm-hmm. That's they need like a black or Asian mom. Totally. I think they do. Or Mexican. Mexican work. I mean, immigrant mom. Immigrant mom yeah, works. Yeah, she can't be. Caucasian. Yeah, they're just、uh, too nice. Caucasian moms can't even tell their daughter 
anything because they got offended. I've met some mino mino <laughs> who are Caucasian. I <laughs> like. I can I can send you to a few if you want to meet them. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Congrats on your new song. Thank you. I'm dying to dance to it. Yes, we're gonna do that. We have to do it after even Evan can join it because we love All everybody. Of us. Yes. He's my um, basically he wears many hats. He's half white, half Mexican, and he does everything. He can help my comedy club Aww. because I cannot uh, really go out. Work outside the comedy club because people want to always get their nails done because oh. they're like, oh, you do nails. Yeah, I gotta get my nails done. You have kind of a Jason Momoa thing going on over there. What, Evan? Did you hear it? <laughs> Jason Momoa thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jason Momoa thing? Take it. I will take it. Exactly. It's a, it's a, like today you have you have Catherine tell you you look like a, a old. Italian King now made from Macy Jason Momoa oh my god that is it's what? your life is Hawaiian you can die in peace yeah. <laughs> you can die in peace now yeah we're good I know I follow him I literally I'll go to his page and just stare at him on my bad days he's delicious jeez what kind of species is he Hawaiian <sighs> oh my god him and, and the rock and he's Aquaman He's I, Hawaiian Aquaman. I, I call one of my ex Aquaman because he make me wet a lot. Who? Uh, one of my ex boyfriend. I give them nicknames. Aquaman. Oh, because he makes you wet. Yeah. Like when I see him, I'm wet. I'm like, I'm going to call you Aquaman. He didn't know. Well, why is he your ex then if he still gets you that like, like, like that? Maybe? He's broke. <sighs> broke, you know. Macy, broke. I mean, they, 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 they are desperate. They, they, they'll do the job. Broke. Put you through the mattress because they have nothing else to offer. That's true. Really, really, really cute guys usually are really good in in bed and stuff. Yeah, they are because they, they have nothing to offer. Cause, yeah, because that's yeah, really, that's the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you're gonna get. So you can look at me. You can f- me after that. I have nothing. Yeah, they have nothing to give. But it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes we just need to pamper the little cute broke boys. Some sympathy <laughs> here and there. It's good. I'm a communist. I give. You're a communist. I mean, I was. I still have a red flag. I, I'm worrying. I'm trying to be red cute. and white. Oh, what does that mean? Christmas Patri- or major pa- patriotic? I'm celebrating my green card anniversary. Green card anniversary. Is it? I don't know. Every day is a celebration. <laughs> I'm from the dumpster. I uh, really appreciate. It. So, how many do you have, sister and brothers? Yes, I have a two, two, a brother and a sister. That's nice. Are they older or younger? Both of them are younger. Awesome. So you're the one who's get blamed when you're growing up. Do you think? Do you, I think the strongest man is the older sister in the house? Ah. Because if you're older sister, everything's your fault. Is do you get blamed for everything? No, I was just always babysitting. That's what the oldest you. You always get stuck watching your younger sibling. Yeah, I have a younger sister, a younger brother. Yeah, yeah. Wait. My sister is a little. She, uh, my little sister. She's cute, and uh, she would want anything I have. If I don't give it to her, she'll slap her own face and start crying. My mom will come here with my. Oh gosh, that's that's rough. Yeah, but, so I I beat her. That's rough. I'm like, you're already. I'm gonna hit you. I but you I'm can't do anything here in America. Hmm? You can't do anything in America. I like I. There's a camera everywhere. I can't. My children. Yeah, there's cameras everywhere. You can like sometimes I just leave him in Target because there's a camera there. I know, but it's just cool. kidding. I left my daughter. I've never leave. No, my son. you know what? Everybody gets so nervous about stealing from Target, but the the trick is uh, self checkout. I you love self checkout. No, you, they're so dumb. You don't steal from the shelves. You That's wait so till you get to self checkout. Mm-hmm. That's smart. And then you put like two t shirts on top of one, and then you just swipe one. That's brilliant because they don't know how how much it weight. Yeah, and you just throw it in the bag. I went to Target and uh, I remember <laughs> I bought uh, two uh, swimsuits mm-hmm. and uh, I actually did not go to self checkout. The person who checked out uh, supposed to remove the alarm thing. Oh, I hate that. And they forget because when they are at Target, their nails, who are the clerks, are longer than Beyonce's nails. Yeah. They are queens. They have nails long and they just like it. And they don't do shit. I'm like, you should be re- like if I own yeah. Target, I'm gonna fire the with long nails. Yeah, you are here to thing. work. Look at my nails. I'm here. Like, how can you? How can they give a? 
I don't know. That I seems don't believe like it would uh, do scratches, make scratches. Yeah, you're gonna really give somebody a circumcision if you give, you know. And also, know. how do you wipe your ass with long nails? I don't know. Like it's just so long. I don't. I don't know. think they work. Like also, Target, not Target, Costco, they have everything in box, and the checkout ladies, they are so pretty. They are like pretty girls with long nails with jewelry on it. I'm just like, you're. How can you? How can you carry a case of chicken feet and it's like a yeah, they scratch everything. They scratch everything and scratch the, everything. their nail break. I know. It reminds me of the first time I ever did a... And uh-huh. he had little bite marks. Uh-oh. So I feel bad when I see the girls with the long nails because I know that their man or their husband is just dying. Yeah, they don't get any... Just scratches everywhere. Yeah, I think... I, I've scratches never... On the, scratches on the... Scratches on the... That's bad. Those are gentle. Like, you can't really scratch it. Is a deal breaker. Yeah, but how do you get away from it if there's na- if you have nails everywhere? I don't think uh, they are there for the men. They are there for themselves. I just feel like. Uh, but that would really scratch you. Oh no, lesbian with long nails. That I would don't really hurt. see any lesbian with long nails. Lesbians are they have short nails with their two belts. They are there to because work. Because you have to. You can't be doing all that down there with long nails. Yeah, that it's it's hurts. not good. I feel bad. Yeah, that just ruins the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Fake nails. I, I don't. I I mean, I should have been a nail lady, but like, I don't wear fake nails. I'm here to work. I'm a cop. I'm a I'm a, a peasant. I, I like to work. Okay. Nails is get in the way. Really? Yeah. I have like young mom have a new baby with long nails. Uh, I'm like, you're gonna scratch the baby. Yeah, they're gonna scratch for sure. Yeah. If the baby is ugly, is okay. But if for having you have a pretty baby, you can't scratch the baby. They're narcissists. They are nail narcissists. Yeah, long nails. And I'm sick of it. Yeah. Real woman like her, look at me and Maisie. We have short nails. Yeah, We're here man. to work. I need We're to, here to work. Nails. Yeah. You should... Tell me about your tattoo. You have one right here. Oh, this is um says motherhood. Oh, I love that. And then that's a, a symbol for greatness. Someone told me it could just be a random circle. I saw this. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, yeah, that means greatness. <laughs> I saw it's a lollipop. <laughs> and I looked it up, but I just haven't seen that anywhere. It's a lollipop. <laughs> yeah, he goes, yeah, get this one. It's greatness. I love that. I don't is even it, think he finished it. Look, it's kind of... I don't think he's finished. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Maybe his nail's too long. He just kind of... I got scammed. I love that. Motherhood. It's beautiful. The writing is beautiful. Thank you. So how long were you in Australia? For two weeks. That's nice. Did you see any koala bears? Whatever they have, the retarded bear. What do they have there? Koala bears. Koala bears? Yeah. They're just stupid, lazy, and cute with a little button nose. That's oh, all they really? do. I don't really like know much this. about them. What, how do you know they're stupid, though? They look dumb, and they are oh, dying, too. because of the way they look. Nobody's eating them. They die. That means you're judgmental. I know. I I just feel like if you are an animal, you should do something. Like a chloral bear, just stay there and being cute. But I think that's the whole point of being an animal. You don't have to do I should be a dog. Because then, then at that point, you're like a human. You got to work. Pandas are lazy. They can't even have sex because they are so lazy. To f- that's the that whole was point. why they're dying. But I think that's the thing. Like you die and you come back like a panda bear. And that's that's a break. good. You know, he's like, oh, I would love to be a panda a bear. I have to do can climb trees. Yeah. I have to do-, do they climb trees? They eat bamboo. Who eats bamboo? Uh, is, that's is- a monkey. Monkey. Panda bear eats bamboo. Monkeys oh, eat bamboo. What do monkeys eat? Bananas, fruits. Monkeys Bananas. can open up nuts and stuff. Yeah, monkeys are much smarter right? and they work. Pandas are lazy. Yeah. Monkeys can, yeah. I don't know any pandas. They have in San Diego Zoo. Um, I should apply to be a panda bear there. Just work there. Just work like, at Yeah, you don't suit. have to do anything. Yeah, I just lay there. Like they just this. give you drugs and you just... <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> they just dope you up. Mm-hmm. And then put you in a cage and everybody walks by. And that's your life. But you didn't have to do anything. I like that. No I like stress. That. That's, uh, that's... No kids. I, and my mom said that the last life, uh, you did something horrible. Um, that's why Buddha made you a woman this life. Uh, you think? Because being a woman is so much harder than being a man. My mom thinks. She goes, just be a nice girl to this life so you can become a man next life. You can just yeah, uh, don't I do think, like, oh, God, Buddha, Allah. I think they're all misogynists. Mm-hmm. Because why would they put us through this? It's very hard to be a woman. I had my period when I was, I know, people hate us when we talk about period, but like, it is a part of period, life. Period, period, period. Period. Period, yeah, period, 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 period. 
So when I had my period, I was at uh, um, New Jersey. It was like a, two weeks ago. I was in New Jersey. Yeah. I was walking through the hallway. Like uh, the Asian woman, it's my comedy show. So all the fans are lined up. Mm. So like the white girls, they are so sweet and polite. Yeah. Asian girls are like, uh, like well, you can't talk about blood. But I had, <laughs> I was wearing a wet dress, wet, pa- wet pants. I had blood all over my pants. Oh. So the black girl, she's a receptionist because we have the show in the lobby of this hotel. Yeah. She goes, hey, 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 come here. I'm like, what? She goes, you have blood all over your pants. Mm. Everywhere. The she's the only person who told me that. I've been walking around with a Japanese flag all day. Oh, okay. Nobody said anything. The black girl's like, girl, yeah. you look up yeah so i'm like oh my god she goes you have to fix this i'm like i know i have like a five minutes before i get on stage what do i do she goes well um uh, don't tell anybody this is a card that you are gonna go to a room and clean up mm-hmm. so she gave me a card and i go inside she's like there's nobody there they just checked out mm-hmm. i went there i took off my pants i started washing my pants oh. and uh, there's uh, i was washing with soap so it was working then this old man walked by in the room, be like, what are you doing here? Oh. I'm naked. Oh. So I just closed the door and then locked myself. He's like, he's like, um, did I call you? I said, no, no, you didn't call me. I'm a comedian. Mm-hmm. And uh, he just like, uh, came knocking the door. So I just kept washing and I, I start blow drying my pants. Then yeah. I put on, I'm like, I'm just here to wash my bloody pants. <laughs> I'm a comedian downstairs. <laughs> you can come down to watch me for free. He's like, no, I already saw it. It's not great. Uh, it's a big story. <laughs> it was, I, I don't know why. I just big, stayed in the bathroom big. and I locked it. I just kept washing my pants. I don't know. Do I leave? I don't know. I'd what would you do if you, if, if you saw that there's nobody in the room and you went in and you took off your pants, start washing your pants and an old man come and be like, did I call you? I'd be like... Ah, I start screaming. Okay, and then he leave me alone. I should, I should do that. Because crazy people don't mess with other crazy people. Remember that. If you're ever scared, just do some crazy shit. And they'll go a- away. Oh, that's nice. Because they'll be like, this bitch is crazier than me. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I'll just start screaming. Yeah, just do some stupid crazy shit. Just, and take the like, go away. A blow dryer and be like, pew, 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 Yeah, it works every time. I love that. Crazy is good. Mm-hmm. Also, now uh, when I'm dating, I just uh, kind of not hide anything anymore. I would just yeah. uh, let it out the first date. What? Like, I'm crazy. Oh, so what do you do? I would just sit there and be like, um, <laughs> so um, this is this is not going to, everything I see on stage, I mean it. It's not mm-hmm. like a, a personal thing. Mm-hmm. I'm very intense. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, like, <clears throat> I would just uh, start calling my mom. Be like, hey, mom, you know, I'm here On with this the date, guy. you call your mom? Yeah, sometimes I do that. Wow. How does like, that go over? Because I realize, like, I'm trying to be sweet and nice, and they found out uh, that I'm intense. Then they're like, oh, I saw, you know, you are different. And I'm just like, hi, mom. This guy's here. Mm-hmm. He's tall and handsome. How much do you, do you make? How much money do you make? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, be like, oh, it's uh, 100K. I'm like, a little low, but, you know, we can do work with it. Yeah. I'll help you with your career. Mm-hmm. And then I'll be like, oh, mom, you know, he's, uh, I mean, I don't know if he's, big or not but we'll find out oh, hang up. she asked you that she she asked that because uh, oh wow it's not very important but it's kind of important it's very important because like when i'm like a, a young young i just believe in romance now i believe in whatever is good right now is good it, because everything goes away well it just matters how how do you use it <laughs> yeah do you do you think it's about uh, the size or is about how they use it how you use it? Because I've seen some, I've seen, not I won't say some, but maybe a couple that are just way too much. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know? You're a size queen. So it's not all about size. It's, it's about how they use it. But sometimes yeah, it can be really. Sometimes it can be too big. Sometimes it can be really small, though. Yeah, you're like, have you I'm seen not, one? I don't want to die. There's some single ones. I've never seen a really, really small one. I saw, I saw a pencil. You did? It's, uh, uh, we call it chopstick. It's, it's long. But it's like a needle, oh. like a space needle. It's like. And then what do you do? Can you feel it? I don't want it because I don't need a vaccine. So uh. I just, uh, I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm a comedian. Only time I want to get pencil in is when I have a prime date in Hawaii on a weekend. I don't need this. Oh, okay. That's a good take. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yes, penis. but no. That's a good take. I mean, 
you have your you have your rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to talk about、uh, when did you find out that、uh, um you 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 are an amazing singer when you were a little girl. Have you ever? No,、um, you know what? I was a late bloomer. I didn't even really、uh, start singing until I was about twenty twenty one twenty two. I remember that、uh, I was talking to Suji. She said that you wrote、uh, um you wrote a song,、mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, the one who was gonna sing did not show up. Yes, I want to. I want to tell hear the story from you because I feel like it's so empowering. Because in Chinese we say, if you are diamond, you are gonna shine,、mm -hmm. even though you are under sand, and you are gonna eventually shine. So, yeah, how was how was the story? Um, so I was I was writing songs with this kid at my my college. I went to USC, and I was in the film school. He was in music school in the film building, and the music they're kind of. I don't actually. I haven't been down there because they changed everything. But it、mm -hmm. used to be right next to each other.、Mm -hmm. So,、um, and then the film students were always going to the music students for music for their for their project.、Mm -hmm. So,、um, so anyway, we just ran into、um, music students all the time. And、uh, so this one kid was super cute, really cute. Did you him? I I don't tell. I can't、okay. tell. Okay. I see. Yes. So then,、um, where was I? So <laughs> go down the memory lane. So many visuals in my head. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so then,、uh, so we saw. He, he was a songwriter. He was. He figured since I was,、uh, I went to school for to write to learn screenwriting,、mm -hmm. and he figured since I was a writer, then maybe I could write lyrics. So I was like, you know, yeah, I write lyrics all the time, <laughs> and then.、Um, We started hanging out, and and I and I got a taste for it. I was actually, you know, pretty good at it, and so I just was was、uh, spent a lot of my time, you know, writing and stuff. And then,、uh, but you know, when you when you tell somebody how a song goes, you have to sing it to them. So,、uh -huh. so I had all these little recordings with my voice singing ideas,、wow. and then that's how it kind of got started. What was the first song you you, you wrote and you sang? Um, it's called、um, "You Make Me Cry." That's my mom. Yeah, I would sing that to her. <laughs> okay. Can you teach me one? Because I am a notoriously bad singer. Whenever I sing,、oh, people goes, beat me up. Just go. You make me cry. You make me cry. That's it. Cry, cry. <coughs> Then you go hi, hi. That's it. Ooh, that was the chorus. <laughs> That was my first song I ever wrote. Oh, it's beautiful.、Thank、I would just、uh, look at my mom and be like, "You make me cry." <laughs> just tell her that she's gonna be so, you know, blown away by your vocals. Oh my god! Maybe she won't, you know. I I just I can't sing. I was told I can't sing when I was little, so I just can't not sing. You just did really good. Oh my god! From the queen herself, I'm very empowered. So I I remember you were recording a, a you wrote a, a big song、yeah. and they were gonna have a singer to record but that person did not show up. Oh, so yeah, I had a I had a bunch. Of, no, 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 no. So I, I, that that's that's kind of a missed. I it's that kind of like when the story about it and、mm -hmm. then it kind of what、uh, what do you call it morphed into that, but it wasn't. It was just I, I had all these uh so, so, songs with my voice on it and then another kid. Had a had a had a、um, he had a, like a steady gig every Sunday at a brunch,、mm -hmm. and he needed a singer, and and we were all gonna make a hundred dollars each. Nice. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it, and then and then um, that may may have been where it happened because the his regular singer, um, you know, canceled. So then,、oh. so he had heard my tapes, and he said, hey, can you do this thing for me? And then that's how it kind of got started. Wow. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's just unexpected. Unexpected. You didn't. You were not planning on doing it.、Like, yeah, no, not at、dollars. all. It really fell in my lap. Came out of the blue for sure. I want to know about Macy Gray. The name. Um, that's some queen shit you did. It was just like a. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. No, I fell down next to a mailbox, and the mailbox said Macy Gray. It was like that. Uh, you ever seen that movie Boogie Nights with Mark Wahlberg? I have never seen Boogie Nights. No, I should watch it. We should watch it here. Best movie ever. Anyway, there's a scene in the movie, and he and the guy asks him because he's a star. He said, "What's gonna be your star name?" 
And he said, I had a dream last night and and there was a light and it said Dirk Bigler. It was kind of like that kind of moment. That's a beautiful moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see Boogie Night? How have you not seen Boogie Night? It's my uh, American education. I should uh, catch up on it. Yeah, you have to yeah. see Boogie Night. Yeah. Wow. Made him, made him biggest movie star ever. I just think it's just so random when big stars just uh, found their name so randomly, like Macy Gray or like Joan Rivers. Yeah. When when she her name is like Jim Malaski, whatever, <laughs> Swartberg, I don't know. Okay. And then uh, her first uh, agent last name was Rivers, and uh, they were just calling. She go, "Oh, by the way, I'm gonna be Joan Rivers." He goes, "What?" Yeah. She goes, "It just flows better." Yeah. And uh, Summers is not uh, my husband's name. Uh, my name is Zhao Ying Liang, and uh, my uh, when I when I got naturalized, I also just got married, and uh, I can actually choose a new last name. I was like uh, Zhao Ying Liang is my name, but I want to become a comedian, so I just want my last name people can actually pronounce. And my ex husband, his last name is Xia. Xia means summer in Chinese. Uh, so I'm like, I'm like Zhao Ying summer sounds does not rhyme. It's like down the summer it rhymes like Zhao Ying summer just like yeah. a, doesn't rhyme. So I'm like, how about Zhao Ying summers like rivers? Then I just call myself Zhao Ying summers. Everybody think I married a white guy whose last name is Summers. Oh. No, that's cool. I like your name. I think it's kind of it, it kind of rhymes. Zhao Ying summers summers. Yeah. It's cute. So. It's cute. It's very cute. How's how's the life been uh, with uh, uh, touring? Like, what is the? I, people always ask this. I got so annoying. I know you're gonna be annoying, but like, what is the country you tour that uh, you loved and you were not expecting to like it so much? Um, probably Portugal. Portugal. Yes, Portugal's the place to be. I think. Oh, is I think is they have a hot man there, right? Beautiful men. Although I think uh, are they Latinos? Yeah, the the country with the most beautiful guys that I've seen is is in Spain. Oh, I was uh, in Madrid, but yeah. uh, I my phone wasn't working, so mm -hmm. I did not go out and meet guys. I oh. my phone wasn't working, and I was I was shooting a movie there, mm -hmm. and um, it was last year, right in November. I was there for three weeks. I never went out once. I just kind of walked around the nearby, in uh. near Madrid, but I I my phone wasn't working. So I I don't want to take an Uber and be don't lost. be lost because I don't speak any Spanish. Oh, I was very because yeah. the guys are so hot. The buildings are beautiful. The guys are men are hot. They're so hot. Ugh. It's crazy. I don't want to think about it. Me either. I, I change your subject. I just started seeing a Latino man recently. Oh, you did. So hot. So different. Mm -hmm. They're so passionate because the Chinese men don't eat. Okay. They say it's gay to eat. It's gay. Like my ex husband in five years he never ate my. That's why he divorced, huh? Uh, that's probably that should be the reason why. But he just looked at it, he goes, Ugh, you know. <laughs> but I'm like, he... why don't you eat? The he goes, it's gay. I'm and like, did it's you gay. Do him now? Yeah, he loves a good. But he wouldn't do you. Oh, that's he, he never he never eat before. He doesn't like it. He's like it doesn't. No, it's just not macho to do that. I'm like maybe it's not macho not do that. Right? Yeah, but gays would never touch a but you gays can't won't expect it and then not give it back. That's, that's exactly a, a gay guys would never eat a I'm like a gay guys would never eat a I think they're the ones that would. A straight men should eat, right? Like yeah, yeah, I, but if you're gay you don't really care. You Latino men Latino Latino men love Latino men wish they're like a, it's it's amazing. <laughs> okay. They Latino men just like Mount like, mm. I just oh. adorable. I love them. Me too. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say them. Cause it's plural because I have one. Ah, oh. it's it's just like they just love women so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, my ex husband just hate eating. He just like he think it's really what is that? dehumanizing to eat a. I don't know. I mean, it's not Dehum just mine. Mine is not uh, special. Hmm. He, he doesn't eat any. He's like, I never eat before. I'll never eat. I'm like. Uh, are you gonna? It sounds like you are gonna. You are saying that to your boyfriend, you know. So what did you did you did you say? Look, did you talk to him about it, or did you just say okay? I just like I'm like, hmm. Why he goes? It's just the uh, not manly. Not what? Not like like a non macho. Oh, not manly. 
Yeah. I don't know. We're in a room full of men. What do you guys say? What, guys, like, what do you think, Evan? I mean, how about you? How about you? I mean, you, 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 how about uh, you're gay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would mind. Willingly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See? How about you, how about you? Uh, I, you can't ask and not give. <laughs> but, like, it's a Latino man. Yeah, Latino man. Ask and not give is different. Latino men. Yeah, like a. No, I like it too. Yeah, Latino men, they. I mean, it's not one size fits all, like. I mean, I. She asked him, yeah, she got, but he's still talking about hygiene. I I, I think my. Like, very clean. I watched it. I mean, we've been together for five years. I mean, he knows that. uh, Oh, not you. I think that's what he's talking about. Oh, you're talking about. You you have to... To be, fair, to, to be fair, the one time I was like, no, I wouldn't let her go down. Because she has a tongue ring? She had some like that. I mean, she has... She has... A, oh, yeah. Yeast infection. You just like cut it cheese and you're like... Hmm. Cheesy. She wanted you to go down on her, and she had a yeast infection. Um, she's not good. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't deserve it. No. I bet, I bet if she's gorgeous and there is a yeast infection, would you still eat her out? At hit at twenty one, hundred percent. Yeah, when you're in your twenties, that yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, like uh, I don't know. I I've uh, I I have only married one Chinese man, and he's a very uh, old fashioned, old school Chinese man. Like he refused to eat, and I I'm just like okay. I didn't. I, I think the other boyfriends they the Jewish guys love eating. The Jewish guys and the Latino men are like here. The Latino men they want eat. They're like a little like a trophy pig. Like like tr- like what do you pick? What pig? Truffle pigs. They're like. <laughs> Truffle pig? Yeah. What's that? Your truffles, like that you eat, like back in the Middle Ages, they had pigs that were specifically. Their nose? Nose hunt for truffle. Latino men are like a little hounds. Like they just. You know, they are so cute. Um, I mean, I didn't have a lot of them. Like I just have one right now. I'm like, oh my God. What? Is it him? He's. No. Maybe I'm just like uh, men are so different. Uh, one man would make you feel like uh, uh, you are a piece of. I don't know why we make you feel like a queen. Uh, it's it's not you. It's the man. It's not us. We are f- queens. It's like when a man don't make you feel good, they should leave. Go away. Go away. Go away. Get out. I think uh, yeah. I, I'm just really shocked by like a lot of things. Like I would have uh, one of my girlfriend living. With a guy who treated her like garbage, mm-hmm. and then she, like uh, she would be with a guy right now, treat her like a queen. And women are like flowers. Mm-hmm. When there's a good soil, good sun, good rain, they they blossom. And when it's bad, they they just die. They dry out. Mm. Yeah, I I feel like uh, women just need to choose their own environment. And like when they are men are bad, just just leave. Yeah, it's always a better place to go. I think so. I feel like a TED talk. We're gonna give young girls like uh, if they don't uh. eat. The it's a red flag. TED Talk. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, or an eating... I'm still... I can't... I can't right get here. this image out of my head. He the, the yeast infection girl? Oh. I wouldn't eat it. She's really... But like... How, but how old... How old was she? I mean, we were both... Yeah, see? That's when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she knew what was going on. Yeah. Yeah, when you're... Tw- <laughs> yeah, early 20s, you'll do whatever. I think uh, in the early twenties you give the most sloppy. Like well, just because like, you're just learning. Yeah, like now still learning. Like now I am just the queen of, like I know how to do it. Oh really? I know how to get it hard. I know how to do everything about it. It just uh, it's easy. I know. When I see that, I know which recipe should I give it to. You know exactly it's just, what to do. Yeah, when you they have firm, those can feel. When they have sake, you leave. If you there's something that's there, you have to stay. Yeah. Don't touch those. Because they are like uh, eggs running, like a uh, sunny side up, you know, like hmm. you don't know where they're going. Okay. <laughs> I don't 
don't know. I don't know if I've had those yet. <laughs> You're lucky. Sucky pants are the worst. Really? You can't touch them because they, if they pee, it is in the toilet. The pee? No. What? When they pee. Oh, what happens when if they pee? Some, some guys pee it down. And what? Yeah, I'm so lost. Help me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. If it has, I, don't know. I it, usually know where she's at, but this one I don't know. Okay. Some some guy like uh, some guys when they pee, they they sit down and uh, the p- touches the toilet water when oh, they're saggy. I, never, I don't know any guy that hits because the it's ball. so saggy. And even they're taking a shit. Who, what guy sits down? Do you guys sit down when you pee? How about you when you're? We I heard I about. heard that. I can't say his name because you? you wouldn't know him. He's famous. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can. That's so how do you even do that? Because you'd have to still Yeah, you'd have to push it down. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. Just stand up. What's your size of your I could stand up. You can you can you can slap it with your Macy, how big are they? I just hate bras. So I cool. hate bra. I don't wear bra. Today I wear bra for you so to, pay, to pay my respect. But like, how big are you? Are they like a double F? No, they're D. Like I don't D, think so. B double D. They're not that big. It's double D. It's all fat. Fat in the red place. Yeah, but if I lose weight, it all goes, it all goes downhill. And then it goes downhill for real. Really? You can, you, like I mean, winter is coming. You go to the winter, you can just wear as a scarf. Over my here. If it, if they go down, just pull oh, them up. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> I need a lift. It just is what it is. What are you gonna do? I lo- I love them. I think I think you look beautiful. That's why I think God was a misogynist. Because why would you make give women the and then make what the? F- That's why the doctors are there for. I know, but they shouldn't even. Why do they have to sag for what? What good does that do anybody? I think uh, I think uh, if you don't wear a bra ever, you both can already train to fight gravity. I don't wear bras. I, I don't wear bra. And See, I have if to. my well, I'm, like, if my cannot to fight the gravity, I'm training it right now. Training it? Oh, because those, like these these. No, I just don't wear bra. And if they sag, I smack, I smack them. I'm like a bad girl. Still there. Just bad girl. You know, if oh, they you sag. Hit like how my mom hit me. You know, just like a bad you know when i slouch she goes bad so i just don't wear bra when i see one like uh, lazy i'll be like bad and it, and it works you go back up be like oh. i'm sorry mommy let me try it yeah just the, don't wear a bra and when they just like uh, lose the discipline be slouch, like don't do this yeah no change i can always remove you you know that right it's my body my choice so they listen yeah it's not working for me Yours are bouncier than mine. I can't get a break. My boobs are like, I don't know, like a little French bulldog. Yours like a big bulldog. Yeah, big old bulldog. Yeah, like your dog. Two bulldogs. Your dog's so cute. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you have dogs? Uh, my daughter has a dog. Poodle? No. Your password is Poodle. Oh, that's from Spectrum. They give you the password you can't even pick. They're like, your password is Big you have Poodle. No say. <laughs> Big Poodle. Yeah. I don't even Poodle. like Poodle. Yeah, why would I make my password Poodle? I was just like, maybe she has Poodle dogs. I don't even like Poodles. I think they look potentious. I like real dogs. I like yeah, I like a real you know? He has a real dog. What do you have? But you adopt him, yes. right? That's what I'm talking Like, you're going to feed him, you're going to wash him, you're going to. Pet them. They better be able to do something. Yeah, that's why. Like, I just feel like a dog should be useful. Absolutely. You have to be like protective and uh, doing things. Okay, just say they look pretty. Yeah, if somebody messes with you, it's a wrap, right? If I want something useless, I just have a baby. You did what? I'm just saying, if I want something useless, I just have a baby. Dogs should be useful. Oh yeah. Babies yeah. are useless. Totally. They cry. They poop. You they do. You know. Yeah. They take away all your happiness. Yeah, and they spend all your money. They spend all your money. They yeah. do. My son's asking and for, I want my monster truck. I want this, want that. I'm like, what can you do for me? Girl, I'd be a billionaire. Make I an iPhone, you know, kids. something. I mean, I love my kids, but. How many do you have? You if have I a had a chance to rethink it, I might, you know. I, I would totally just uh, swallow to that plan B. 
faster than anything. They didn't have it back then, you know. Oh. I'm, I'm I, I have it. I have I have no excuse now. We had um abortion. Yeah. With a clothes hanger? With no. a clothes hanger? <laughs> no. No, no. I'm sticking no hanger up there. That's crazy. I don't know what that's about. That's weird. You're from Ohio. Yes, I am. I went to Kentucky for college, not so far. Oh, yeah, Midwest. Yeah, I'm very close to, I think, Cincinnati, okay. Lexington. So which part of the, um, your town in Ohio? Uh, Canton, Ohio. It's about an hour south of Cleveland. Oh, wow. Cool. Mm-hmm. So you are like a heart of America girl. Yes. How was it like to grow up in there uh, as a black girl? As a black girl, I don't know. It was normal. I, you know, I had a mom and dad. They stayed together. I had, That's nice. They both, you know, we were cool. They were cool. It was cool. My my upbringing was actually pretty boring. Oh, so it's not like a exciting like a dumpster and stuff like mine. Yeah, no, I didn't. I wasn't. No, she didn't put me in a dumpster. What does your mom cook for food? What does she cook? Mm-hmm. Oh, my mom's actually a really good cook. She can cook it. She's one of those that can cook anything. Oh, that's amazing. You're lucky. Yeah, she can cook. Do you cook? Mm, yes, I cook. Um, I don't cook for men, though, because they always want to marry me after they eat my kombucha. Oh, chicken. it must be good. It's, it's good. And then they forgot about my personality. And then they start noticing it. They want to leave. I'm like, I shouldn't what? be cooking for you at the beginning. Yeah, forget about you that. You are staying with me for the wrong reason. Right? Yeah, my overbearing personality is what you should, like... That's why I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just like that's that's me. Mm-hmm. I'm crazy. Yeah. But I'm I'm like a I'm loyal. I'm crazy. I that's I'm good. here. And yeah. if you don't like it, you know, don't don't play. I don't have time for it. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. I'm an old lady. I don't have time for any playing. That. Yes. Put your down or leave. Wait. I thought we were talking about cooking. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I can cook, Macy. I should make something okay. for you. What uh, What's your favorite uh, vegetable? My favorite vegetable? Mm-hmm. Green beans. Oh, healthy, girl. You're very healthy. My mom actually are growing green beans in our garden. I'm mm-hmm. going to get some. They are flat green beans, like the Chinese face. It's flat. Oh, I love those. The flat, the yeah, flowers, like a persimmon. Yeah. Like a, they, call, are they, they call them Italian, the flat ones? Yeah, they, they call them Italian, but like a pasta is actually Chinese noodles. You know, they always take from us and don't give us credit. It's what? Chinese <laughs> flat pancake. Yeah. Green, I'll bring some. I'll make for you. I like to make it with garlic and vinegar. Okay. A lot of garlic. Garlic is good for you. I'm down. It's good for Tommy. Let's get it. And I like to make uh, oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms? They yeah, look like an oyster. They are like a like a fan. Mm-hmm. So I like to butter them up with um, eggs and uh, uh, fry them and put uh, cumin seeds on it. It's ah. delicious. They're so like snacks. When you watch movie, you can eat it like a snack. It's dried out. Ah, nice. Yeah. Also, lamb chops. You make good lamb chops? Yes. My lamb chops is how I get the proposals. Oh, lamb chops. Mm-hmm. Straight to your heart. Yes, straight to your heart. They eat the lamb chop and they're all yours. They are for the time being. What is it Before like if it's a girl well. that eats your lamb chops? What happens to her? Who? Like if a girl eats your lamb chops, then what? Sh- she'll make me her best friends for at least the, like six ah, months. Six months. Mm-hmm. Then she's like, you're annoying. You're so annoying. Well, that's good, lamb chops. Yes, I should make. I should cook for you and the uh, soji. No, just for me, and then I'll say I cooked them, and I'll invite somebody over. I love that. Yeah, I love that. I'll, I'll, I love that. And you can also lock me down in your basement. Whenever you have guests over, you just let me cook, and then you put me down there. Yeah, and I'll just say I, I did it. Yeah, I did it. That's smart. I did this. I did the kimchi. <laughs> kimchi is a Korean. Ubi dum uh, dim song. Dim song is Chinese. I did the dim sum, yes. Yes, kimchi was from soji. I did the, ch- okay. I got mosquito bite on my, sorry, TMI, but I don't know. It's spider bite, right? Oh. Do you know? You have to get our, get our is my p- out? No, I'm wearing underwear. But it, it's, 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 it's wrong she because I don't, it doesn't look good here. Oh, yeah. oh, there's three of them. Three? Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, there's, there's a spider don't miss. So what is that? Um, what do you mean? What is it? And what insect? Like what kind of bug? Oh, it looks a mosquito. It's big though. Yeah, mosquitoes are big. I mean, why are they biting me right here? Like uh, you can you can bite me on my arms or It's so weird. 
I have no idea. They just eat me alive. Mm-hmm. I hate my bra. Are they are they are the bra too tight? I don't know. I just hate you know. Eventually, it gets really uncomfortable. I wear a bra, but I don't wear bras. It's just you know that yeah. you guys know. I don't wear bras, but I just this is see through. I don't want to be like a my n- out you know the whole time. Be like, yeah. hi, I'm made in China. <laughs> exactly. So how's dating life? Um, not at the moment. I mean, you know, I have you know someone that you know if I want a company or I want to hang out that I can call. But I don't really have. I'm not like committed or nothing. Yes, that's the best. Mm-hmm. You do you. That's what yeah. it is. Well, I've been I've been single for a while, and I just I have to really would have to really be in the wrap my head around like having someone. All the time, like it'd be a big adjustment to me. Yeah, it's a big commitment. Um, you I have like to my freedom a lot. Yeah, it has to be the right person who's worth because your energy is so precious. You know, you need somebody who deserves it. Not even that. I just like I just like my space. I just like like doing what I want. You know, but I like being in love. I like you know you like all those little games and the you know the eye contact and you know. I think the, being the love is a little bit different when you really like the person, you know. Yeah, and uh, you can't really fart in front of them. Yeah, that's I like the thing. being, when you know, but you in your house someone... you just walk around and f- naked and fart. What? Walk around in your house naked and fart. Oh, by yourself. yeah, people do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we do that. With a guy you like, you have to be on your best behavior at the beginning. No farts, yeah. no burp. You can't even quiff, you know. You also when you go to the bathroom, like when I date a guy the first few months when I go to the bathroom when I pee I also put a tissue on my make sure I don't accidentally fart a little bit oh did we want to know that no <laughs> <laughs> okay I don't know <laughs> just give me out tips okay <laughs> oh, all right. I'm <laughs> just giving me out the tips good to when know when you are peeing in your boy- new boyfriend's apartment or house just make sure you don't fart just like uh, you 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 are nervous. You don't want yeah. people to know you are. You don't want him to know you are a human. But the kind of guy that I need wouldn't wouldn't mind. He'd be like, "Oh, she farted," and he'd keep it moving. Keep it moving. Like a guy that would get all upset about a fart. I really don't. I have don't think they're upset, but like I just got especially nervous at the beginning of dating. Like no, the first it's month. It's, it's like a job interview. It's Maybe fun. like a three months later, I'll just be like, Pfft. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like first three months, I just won't be like. I don't want him to know I'm actually a person. I want oh. to think I'm like a little China doll, like a little fake. But then, what ball. do you do when he? Because he already knows you're not perfect. Mm, he knows that because I need to get to. So it. what? It, so what? How, so it takes three months to get to the point where you can just relax. Yeah, because by this time he can't. He really can't get over the. Well, why does it take three three months? Uh, ninety days would be like days. to heal. Uh, if you break your legs, you can heal the bone. If you um, are with someone, they can just kind of like, okay, yeah, I got to know that person. He he's not gonna murder me. Yeah, and uh, he's decent. So yeah, see, I'm older than you. I don't, How long do I don't take do it for you to be comfortable with somebody like a two? Like if I'm not comfortable with them right away, I'm good. I like that. That's the but I'm but I'm in my fifties though. That that takes that that's like an evolving mm-hmm. moment i like uh, and now i the older i am i trust my intuition if my body don't feel good i'm we're not good i yeah, don't lie to myself be like maybe this no no <laughs> no yeah i know you kind of know you know anyway no matter how old you are but i think people want to go through the motions or they want to see or they ignore mm-hmm. what they already know I mean, you know, we do that all all the time. Yeah, also like people just like um, we're gonna grow into it. No, if you're not wet right away, you're not gonna yeah. don't do it. Well, I've had I've been with guys that like I I didn't get it at first, and then later we were all you know. How long it takes for you to like hot get and heavy? It? Wait, what do you mean? Like a, if you are not uh, turned on in the beginning, then like next week you were like maybe he's cute. Oh yeah, because. Uh, you know, you kind of get past the physical stuff and you really like being around somebody, you know. And then, oh. And then, you know, do you, I don't, I do. I do have platonic friends now. Mm-hmm. But in my 30s and 40s and 20s, I didn't, I didn't have, 
every guy that I knew, I, I was with him at one time or another. Mm-hmm. Or every night or all the time. I like that. I'm or running once, down. Every once in a while. I like that. Yeah. But now I have, you know, guys I know and I don't, we're good the way we are. I like that. Yeah. I I, I, was a, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of friends because I'm so, I'm such a workaholic. Yeah, you're busy. And I, when I like someone, um, I don't really like anyone. And if I really like an, anyone, mm-hmm. I think like there's a few guys like I would but uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think, uh, I think uh, the guys are like uh, intimidated by me because my energy is so intense. Mm-hmm. They are afraid of me. Even girls are afraid of me because they're like, what is wrong with her? What's her deal? Then they get to know me like, oh, you are cool. But uh, but my energy is like so aggressive. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know Evan and Kida don't want to say that about me, but they know that's true. And there's a lot of people talking about me. They don't want to tell me. Mm-hmm. They just like, don't think I can handle it, but I know what people think of me. Yeah. Sometimes they would just like, uh, Say it to my face in a not loving way, like, oh, you know, at the beginning, I didn't want to talk to you because you're like, ooh, you're like, whoa. I'm like, what? Yeah. As a guy, I, I would meet for the first time for a business meeting. He's like, like, you are so intense. People are like, whoa, she's intense. I'm like, who are people? What is this? It's a business meeting. Like, I don't even know I'm intense. Yeah. If I'm intense at working, you should be proud of that. Right. I'm going to make the f- money. Like, what do you mean? Right, Kida? Yeah. My intensity is like a well known, right? People don't know what yeah, my deal yeah. is. What people say about it? You don't have to name names. No, I mean, I, I do have to course correct people from time to time. Because they would just go to be like, hey, what's her deal? What's wrong with her? It's, it's mostly motivated by jealousy. Of the girls who wanted to have my d- and guys who... No, 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 just like your success. you have rapidly... Yeah. I mean, there's people in the scene for 20 years yeah. that have gotten what you've gotten, and, and there's a lot of do they think I f- my way to the top, or what do they think? Yeah, but uh, who did I, f- I f- myself to the top? Yeah. I bought my own comedy club. I invested thirty grand on my career every month just uh, to work and write and do things. Nobody want to f- me. Like I put myself out. People are like, nah, I'm good. Like people don't understand. Like I. It's like a man is very afraid of me. They think, uh, they think I, first of all, they think I'm a lady boy from Thailand because I have dark skin with big jaw, which is uh, flattering because those people, those people are so beautiful. What's a lady boy? In Thailand, uh, the, the, the trans people are just like the boys when they oh. have no money. Mm-hmm. Like when the, they are very poor and their parents would want them to start taking the hormones and start doing the therapy mm-hmm. to become a lady boy that they can do shows and make money. So they don't, oh. because in, in you Asia. You don't have that at all. People think I kind of give some ladyboy energy because no. I'm so in- aggressive. No way. And I also, I'm kind of butch. I'm giving some lesbian vibe. I don't think so. That's so sweet. But that's what I get. People think of me as this exotic monster from Asia who's coming over to divide and conquer, take people's job and... Uh, People's dads, but like that's not what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just a little. Come. You should do that. <laughs> <laughs> that nobody, I, men don't. Take men is afraid job. of me. Take I think men job. are afraid of me because I'm so aggressive and uh, so ambitious and uh, so self uh, reliance. How do I pronounce that word? Yeah, I'm yeah. Super, very self reliant. Like I just be like I, I'm good. I can do it. I would have a guy after my divorce. He's like, uh, I know. You lost all the money. I know you don't have a child support. Like, uh, you know, you can move to my house and live in my mansion, take your yeah. kids with me. I'm like, uh, thank you for the offer. I'm good. Hmm. I'm good. I don't show I guess my weakness. It depends on, on the guy. I, it's hard for me to meet the right guy because I'm so aggressive. But yeah, I'm also but sweet, though. I can be sweet, can I? Yeah. You'll I find th- somebody for you. Again, I, haven't you been married like four times? <laughs> that's why I love her. <laughs> that's why I love Maisie. Twice, but close. I'm I'm getting there. You know how to do it. You know what you're doing. <laughs> that's a good record. That's a good record, right? I, I I mean, there's all men put his ring on me. Yeah, I got. There yeah. You go. So Maisie, um, maybe you should teach me sing one um a sentence of uh, uh I try. Uh, which sentence did you want whatever to you want to teach me for like uh, for the for the most uh, for the people who can't sing 
uh, let's see, you could see, oh, well, the beginning is pretty simple. You just, games, changes, and fears. Game changes and fears. This is excellent. That was good. See? One more. When will they go from here? When will they go from here? So good. When will it stop? When will it stop? There you go. You just sang. I just sang. Can we get an amen? Woo! 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 And it, that was amazing. Maisie, where can we find you on social media? If my bra didn't hurt, I would stand up and give you an ovation. Where can we find you on social media? Um, Macy Gray. On Instagram? Yes. Everywhere else. And uh, I'm dying to dance to your new song. We're okay. gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna wrap this up and uh, get in the, get in the. I'm gonna stand next to you, and the boys are gonna stand behind us. We're gonna dance to it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take my bra off though. Thank God, please. Yes, I'm taking off mine, but I, it's oh. this. My teeth are gonna come. Yay! Yeah.